How to use your birth control to prevent PMS. Ladies around the world can all agree, figuring out the best way to deal with PMS exercise? Ice cream? Is no easy feat. But as it turns out, your birth control method of choice as well as how you decide to use it and impact the aches and pains associated with your cycle. Here, find out how four popular pregnancy prevention methods might mess with your PMS. And remember, everybody is different. If you notice any worsening in period pains or any big changes that might be related to your birth control, tell your obgen. The pill generally, being on the pill can ease PMS symptoms. This is particularly true for Yaz, says Mary Jane Minkin, MD, a clinical professor of obstetrics and gynecology at Yale University School of Medicine. That's because Yaz includes drosperinone, a chemical that acts like both the sex hormone progesterone and a diuretic. When your progesterone levels get out of whack during that time of the month, they can interfere with serotonin in the mood-regulating hormone, causing irritability. Yaz helps prevent that. As far as the diuretic benefits, many people believe fluid retention exacerbates symptoms of premenstrual dysphoric disorder PMDD are really, really bad PMS, notes Minkin. Taking the pill this way a good piece of news, if you continuously take the pill and toss the sugar pills, you can skip your period and the crazy PMS symptoms that come with it. Here's why it works, when you take a week off the pill, you experience a drop in the hormones estrogen and progesterone a ill-induced period, and pesky PMS symptoms, says Femu Sason, doctor of osteopathic medicine, and obgen at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York. Dive right into the next pack, though, and you're getting the same amounts of hormones all month, she says. As a result, who don't get PMS, says Sason. If someone feels crummy during her period, there's no reason she cannot use continuous pills, says Minkin. An IUD and IUD is not going to affect PMS in any way, shape, or form because it's a local form of contraception that works by interacting with the uterus, says Sason. That means neither the hormone-free Paragard nor Mirena which releases small amounts of the hormone levin or gestural into your uterus should alleviate or worsen any of your monthly woes, she says. So if you suffered from bad PMS, you may still suffer. If you don't, you likely still won't. And while some women do report cramping after having an IUD inserted, research suggests that period pain isn't actually made worse by the device. The Ring New Ring is a small ring you insert into your vagina once a month. You usually leave it in for three weeks, take it out for one, and insert a new one at the end of the month to prevent pregnancy. It releases a low dose of progestin, the synthetic version of progesterone that's also in birth control pills and estrogen. Like with a pill. Who should notice an improvement in PMS symptoms as opposed to going au natural, says Sason. The reason why it helps, before your period, your progesterone and estrogen levels change, creating an imbalance that leads to all your favorite symptoms. That said, if you're taking a week off from the ring, PMS can still be a reality. But you probably can guess where we're going with this one. The ring is similar to the pill who can leave it in for four weeks at a time, take it out immediately put in another ring, and that's fine, says Minkin. Like with a birth control pill, too, a steady state of hormones should nick symptoms of PMS, says Sason. The arm implant Nexoplon, the arm implant, is a small, soft device your doc inserts into your arm. It releases progestin, stopping your body from ovulating and preventing pregnancy for about three years. What that means for PMS? If you're not ovulating, you're not experiencing a change of hormones, so that should certainly help with PMS and in addition, many women on the implant will not get a period, says Sason. Own people do, but some don't. 